Hi, Kumon families. I am here to tell you all today about level C. I love level C, the long, not the long division, the short division in level C is my favorite, um, favorite of the level of C. Of course, to be able to divide, to divide, we have to have our times tables memorized. So that happened in the first half of level C. Division is the second half of level C. Um, the standard completion time in level C is two to three minutes and three to four minutes per page. So you can kind of gauge your goal, your time goal, once you get used to the division based on these numbers and how many pages you do per day. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this first section, 12 divided by four. That one is really kind of like one of our simple ones, right? We've memorized what times four is 12, three. So we know three is four times 12. So then 12 divided by four is three. It's the backwards of multiplication. This is really nice. It goes up one number at a time. So when we divide 13 by four, we're gonna have three as our base answer. And then how many do we have left? Well, if we go from 12 to 13, that's only one difference. So that's what our remainder is. And the way we write remainders at Kumon is not with decimal fractions, it's with an R. So three, R, one. Now we have 14 divided by four, same method. We kind of think, you know, we think on our fours table, we have 12 and we have 16, three times four and four times four. It's right in the middle. So we go to the lower number. So we say this is gonna be three and then our remainder is gonna be two because there's two digits between 14 and 12 or 12 and 14. Um, 12, which is four times three, of course. So next section, 16 divided by eight. This one's from our times tables, two because two times eight is 16. 17 is one more, so just two remainder one. 19 divided by eight is gonna be two remainder three because it's three digits between 19 and 16 and we will keep on going right here 32 divided by two is that one's going to be just memorized um 16 and then with 33 we know that there's one more there's a, a remainder of one if we go up to 25 divided by four the closest one is going to be six times four is 24, so six. Then we have a remainder of one. 37 divided by seven. Let's see, seven times five is 35, and we have two left over, so remainder five remainder two becomes our answer. Okay, this is the short division part of level C. Again, this is my favorite in this level. Um, I have a little note right here. Alignment is super important. Okay, what is alignment? See these boxes right here? The boxes are teaching on the worksheets, how do we line up our numbers? So this is what I call division with the house. You know, the house is this symbol right here. And we don't do long division in level C. We save long division for level D. That one's next level. The way we do this is digit by digit. So three divided by two is one. I'm gonna write my remainder at the beginning, but then I'm gonna get really fast at it. I'm not gonna to have to write it eventually. So I have a remainder, um, three divided by two is one remainder one. That becomes a little carry kind of, and that makes it 12. So now 12 divided by two is six. So super easy, super efficient. Mr. Kumon's way for dividing um, by single digits. On this next one, three divided by two, one again, also with a remainder of one. 17 divided by two is going to be eight, and I'm going to hang my remainder off the edge. So that's, again, referring back to this alignment note. Anytime we have a remainder, we're going to hang it off the edge right here, and then we just put our divisors above what we divided to get their answer. So on this next one, 31 divided by three, of course, three divided by three is one. Okay, one divided by three, zero, one, Three won't fit into one, so we have zero. And then what do we have left over? We have one, that one that we couldn't divide into. So our answer becomes 10 remainder one. Next one, six, 79 divided by six. My seven um, divided by six is one remainder one. 19 divided by six is gonna be three remainder one. And I could actually do a better job at hanging that off the edge. Whoops. Oh gosh. My numbers are disappearing. Okay, let's just do the part that I wanted. There we go. I had a remainder of one hanging off the edge. So the alignment, you know, make sure that you're lining it up digit by digit, super important. Um, here we go, four, 
four doesn't go into one, right? So if I start with my first, my one, one divided by four, it, it doesn't fit. So then I just combine it one and five, 15, divide that by four, that's three remainder three. So I have 33 divided by four, that is going to be eight, eight times four is 32 remainder one, that needs to hang off the edge. So this is the system that we're gonna use for all of the short division in level C and beyond. Um, this last problem here, six divided by five is one. We have a one remainder. I'm not gonna write it this time. I'm gonna do it mentally. That's 17 though. Divided by five is gonna be three remainder two. So 23 divided by five now is four remainder three. So that is how we attack and master the long, uh, short division in level C. Thank you guys for watching.